Yo, Elliot. Really good question from one of our buddies here about doing pull-ups. He says that he notices when a lot of people do chin-ups, that's the term he uses, uh, when they pull themselves up to the bar, they reach their chin up like this, right? Boom. I mean, it's fucking called a chin up, right? You want to get your chin up. Even this way, a lot of people do this, right? So you end up here. So he's asking me, you know, it could, can that possibly lead to some sort of severe muscular imbalance? in the cervical spine uh, by hyperextending your neck every single time that you pull. And that, that's the way I describe it, but what he basically says is, you're gonna fuck up your neck by doing chin-ups. Why do people do chin-ups and am I doing it the wrong way? Why is it that when I do chin-ups the way I see people doing it, that I get really sore in the back of my neck, right? Like the back of his neck, especially up here, right? Like these, I think like they've got tiny little muscles in there, suboccipitals and stuff. You know, right up in there, it's really fucking tight. It feels like shit. What to do about it? Well, well, you're right. You're right, and I'm gonna refer you to all of my uh, scientific deadlift videos where I use that stick to put on people's back. One of the major things that tends to happen is with it, with any, really any pulling exercise. In fact, people have a tendency to want to hyperextend their neck. It is a muscular imbalance, and I'll talk to you about what that actually means and how to correct it in just a moment. Excuse me. But you're, you're absolutely correct. When you, when you pull yourself like this, you're just further facilitating a posture that's going to force you into this uh, thoracic kyphosis, forward head posture. It's going to lead to cracking in the jaw, possibly headaches, and then with the rounded upper back and the extended neck, you're also going to end up with probably a hyperlordosis. Now you're going to have low back pain. Hyperlordosis is coupled with the anterior pelvic tilt, which is also coupled with the medial rotation of the upper leg, the femur, which causes the knock knee type situation because your glutes are weak and the, ad the adductors of the femur become overdeveloped, right? That's associated with the anterior pelvic tilt. And then you have flat feet, right? So you got flat feet, now you got bunions from doing fucking chin-ups the wrong way. Is that crazy? How crazy is the kinetic chain? Now, Elliot Hulse might sound like he's crazy. This guy is completely over the fucking top. Yeah, someone commented the other day that this is not even a fitness channel anymore. Well, it never fucking was. It's about becoming the strongest version of yourself and the way your body is, can be used. The integrity of your physical body, your neuromuscular system, is very tied to your spirit's ability to be effective on this planet and earth, the way we, where we live. You need a strong fucking body. And that's why I put, you know, like answer these questions. That's why I have this channel. I happen to know a lot about the body because I studied it for many years. I still study it. I study mine. I share with you what I discover. So anyway, in the same way that I've described in multiple videos where there is a lower cross syndrome where you've got, you know, I think I just made a video about this, uh, really tight muscles in, in the cross. I'll do it again. It's either the video that you guys just watched or one that's uh, going to come up later. The same way I use this to describe the hips, right, and the anterior pelvic tilt associated with really tight uh, lumbar erectors, really tight hip flexors, weak abdominals, weak upper hamstrings, happens up here also. Boom, it happens at your shoulder girdle and in your neck, right? You got one of these going on right here. So the same situation where you've got, a over you've got overdeveloped muscles up here, underdeveloped muscles that get your, uh, your, your scapula to adduct, right? So same sort of cross, tight, weak, and then you've got just the opposite going on over here. You've got weak, you know, so weak, tight, and that's really the one I'm going to stop at because that's really what I want you to, con to, to concentrate on. Weak muscles down in your neck. These are your deep cervical flexors. Boom. They're weak. They cause you to, to extend. This is supposed to be lengthened and this is supposed to be tightened. So you got muscles in here. I think they call them the infra and omohyoid muscles. They are really tied to your tongue. They're engaged when the tongue is on the roof of your mouth. So if you want to have 
really you know solid upright posture, you're gonna have scapula. Your scapulas are gonna drop down and point towards your, your tailbone because your scapula adductors are strong. The muscles between and underneath your scapula, your shoulder blades. Your your neck is going to extend, boom, like that because you've got long, lengthened, soft muscles up around your skull. You don't want those muscles to be tight. Those create headaches. They create all type of neurosis. You know, I don't know if it's a chicken or an egg. But when these muscles are tight, you're fucked. Like you don't want those muscles back there to be tight. You want to get massage back there. You want to do whatever you can do to make sure that these muscles aren't tight. Boom. All right? And you're engaged within your neck. I have a whole video. I made a whole video about how to you know, muscle imbalances in the neck. Um, and I even gave exercises. And this is the second time I'm mentioning this in perhaps the last two months. There are exercises for strengthening the infra and omohyoid. So that's it. You're right, doing exercises in a, uh, with faulty recruitment patterns, they fuck up your posture, they fuck up your structural integrity, and they don't allow you to be the, the fullest, the best version of yourself, the strongest version of yourself on multiple different levels. You do this, you can't breathe. I, I do that and I'm already getting anxious. You can't breathe, you can't expand your your chest the way it should. You can't open up your heart the way you should. And then it leads to all the different weird muscular imbalances that go down the body and up the body, this kinetic chain situation going on. And it's, it's, it leads to pain, dysfunction, ugliness, dysfunction and death. Done. Yo, Elliot.